All right, so we've talked about value betting previously on this channel quite a few times, and value betting for me is just a logical next step after match betting and arbitrage. So match betting and arbitrage can teach you how to make money from sports betting, and it can change your mindset from, oh, nobody makes money from sports betting into, actually, this is a viable way to make money. And for me, value betting is just the next step. It's the next progression. I'll be showing you how to find value bets with the Odds Matcher software, which Odds Monkey provides. And the reason for this is that Odds Monkey is one of the cheaper ways to get value betting software. And a lot of people already have Odds Monkey due to the fact that they've been doing match betting already. All right, so this is the Odds Matcher software from Odds Monkey. So you can see here on the right side, you've got uh, bookmakers and exchanges. And what Odds Monkey provide this software is for people to to get free bets. Basically, they want to get the uh, when people want to get the best odds for their free bets, they can use the Odds Matcher. But you can also use it for value betting, as it highlights when there's a big discrepancy between the bookmakers and the exchanges. So right now you've got Farnborough at 4.2 at four there, um, and you've got a little bit of money on BetConnect, only 15 pounds, but you've got much more money on. Uh, markets at 3.75 so what I would do with this because Farnborough it's a bit of a smaller market is I'll go over to Smarkit and what I would check on Smarkit is I'd have a look at the liquidity so how much money has been matched on Farnborough so you can see there's been £5,000 matched on this event so yeah that is likely to be a very good value but I believe that you know if you can get odds of four when, when there's been £5,000 matched on this um, around these odds 3.75 then yeah you, you're getting massive value there so one of the things that I really like about the odds match software for value betting is the filters on the left hand side. So you can filter by sport. So for example, I just want to see football at the moment as I know that with football, that's usually where I can get the most money on. And that's usually where most bookmakers will, will tolerate bigger bets as well. Like you can put a £50 bet on a football match and it, it goes unnoticed. But if you're sticking £50 or more bets on horse racing, then it, it tends to flag up a little bit more. And then you've also got markets, so you can filter by markets. Um, but yeah, but what makes Odds Monkey different to the likes of Rebel Betting and TradeMate is the amount of bookmakers that they have. So TradeMate and Rebel Betting will cost you, you know, a hundred pounds or more for a monthly subscription. Odds Monkey is thirty quid, uh, and if you're based in the UK, you get all of these smaller bookmakers as well. So you get the likes of like Yeehaw Bet, for example. There are, you know, there are a small bookmaker, Talk Sport Bet, Star Sports, which I think are UK only. Um, so if you ban from a lot of the bigger bookmakers, which a lot of people watching this video will be, you know, Bet365, Betfred, for example, um, you can look at some of these smaller ones, Joe Jennings, Jeff Banks, uh, Dragon Bet, AK Bets, Bet Goodwin. So yeah, I'm in that situation where I'm banned from, you know, all of the big boys. So I have to look at some of the smaller independent bookmakers and find value bets with them. And Odds Monkey allows you to do that. So yeah, it's it's really good for that. Next up, I want to talk a little bit about using limited accounts. So, for example, my Bet365 account, I've had it for about 10 years and it's been limited for about five years. But over that five years, it's been allowing me to still place bets, but just to a smaller amount. So these are all max bets that which I've placed, but they're all max bets on value bets. So, for example, I was able to get Blackburn at 2.1 and I was able to stake £45 and 45 pence to win about £50. So I took this a couple of days ago and it was 2.1 and it was 2.0 at the exchanges. Uh, and if you look right now, it is 1.85 to lay on the exchanges. So you can see that that's a really decent value bet. A limited Bet365 account is also really good for horse racing bets. Well, horse racing value bets, I should say. So from about half nine in the morning till about 11 or 12 o'clock, uh, you get a lot of money into the horse racing markets and there's a lot of volatility. So odds move. And you can often find Bet365 offering really good value. So you can see right here, I managed to back escape and evade. Uh, odds of 8 and if we go over to Betfair right now you can see it's odds of 6.6 .6. so as long as this doesn't fly back out which it does sometimes but other times it'll move in this will be a value bet but more often than not taking these early prices when the value um, you know continue to be value so you will win over the long term so with horse racing they'll allow me to win £30 on this market but they'll allow me to back it twice so just like a little trick is that with Bet365 you can kind of override their limit system by um, just backing on the win market and then you can also back it on the each way um, in the each way market as well so you can actually get double your stakes so while they've limited me to 30 pounds of winnings i can actually win uh, 60 pounds on those horses and we can see a few others as well so netty well uh what's this one ball in bay so back to 7.5 let's have a look ball in bay hasn't come in that much it's 7.4 at the moment let's check how some of the others are doing so we've got netty well so back that at 3.25 all right, so we can see currently Nettywell is 2.82 to lay. So yeah, this is what happens normally. Like I say, they don't all come in, but more often than not, they do come in. And this is just a really good way to to use. Yeah, if you've got limited Bet365 accounts and you've got Odds Monkey, or if you want to get Odds Monkey, 
in order to use these limited accounts. I, I can give you a code later on to give yourself 50% off. But yeah, this is what I do. Most mornings I'm doing like horse racing bets with other stuff. So just check what what's coming up and you can see I've got multiple bets. I'll get, you know, I might get 10, 15 bets uh, on the horse racing and, and there'll be good value bets. And over the long term, this will make you money. Another bookmaker that are pretty decent after you've been limited is Skybet. So yeah, I don't get promotions or uh, best odds guaranteed or anything, or anything with Skybet, but they'll still allow me to bet. So even on the championship um, and on the lower leagues, they'll allow me to win up to a hundred pounds. You see on this Hull versus Watford game, and yeah, frequently throughout the throughout the week, they'll offer some value prices midweek uh, for Saturday and Sunday games. So the, yeah, Skybet are, are a good account to have, even if you're limited. You can still do. Um, some decent value betting with them. All right, so I just wanted to bring you back to the Odds Match software, and you'll see that this looks different. And this is because this is the old version of the Odds Monkey Odds Match software. They have two versions, but luckily they kept the old one. Uh, and this is the one I'm most familiar with, and this is the one that I've saved all my filters on. So you can see I've got like filters for two up, um, just Betfair and pa uh, Paddy Power, uh, Bog Strategy. But I want to show you the Morning Horse filter that I have, and that's um, for finding value bets with Bet365. So this is the horse racing filter that I use for most mornings. So like I say, from about half nine till about half eleven, I'll I'll have a look at what's going on in the markets and try and find some value bets. So I've got Bet365, obviously, and because I can still bet even though I'm limited, as I showed before. I've got Bar One Racing, as they're still allowing me to bet. And I still have Party Poker as well. I don't have Unibet and William Hill anymore. Um, I just haven't changed them. But yeah, like I said, this is one of the really good things about Odds Monkey is the filter system. So yeah, you, you, you choose the sport that you want to... Um, look at you choose the bookmakers that you want to look at you can even limit the exchanges and then you can give it a name and just save it as and i've got multiple filters that i've used over the years uh, and like i say like a lot of people don't use odds monkey for value betting but it's excellent value betting software if you just kind of learn to use it this way all right i hope you enjoyed this video i'd had quite a few questions about how to use odds monkey effectively for value betting and this is just one of the ways that you can do it there are other ways as well like using boosts um using extra places using the each way matcher um, yeah, there's multiple ways to, to use Odds Monkey, but a lot of people just seem to solely use it for match betting. So I just wanted to show that there is another option. And once you are kind of limited across the board or you you know you've been promotional banned, then value betting is a really good way to make an extra income. If you're not a member of Odds Monkey and you want to try out this value betting strategy, I can give you a code which is SST50. And if you use the code and the link below in the description, that will get you 50% off your first month. So rather than paying £30, you will pay uh, 15 pounds for that month and then you can test this value betting strategy out uh, see if it's for you and hopefully it will be and then you can make money over the long term using value betting i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you didn't enjoy this video then you can also give me some abuse in the comments as that will probably also help the algorithm it'll show some interaction on the video and that would help me out also so yeah either way thanks for watching see ya